theinnerself.com audio version of A Positive Way Forward is Possible Even in the Darkest Times, written by Elliot Noble Holt, author of the book Bald Bearded Boss, Manifesting Who You're Meant to Be. The article is narrated by Marie T. Russell, publisher of InnerSelf.com. Falling into a rut doesn't mean we have to stay there. Even when it can seem like an insurmountable challenge to climb back out, finding a way is possible. My life is a testament that it can be done. As a young adult, I faced a succession of setbacks. The first was my parents' divorce. I hadn't recovered emotionally from that setback when my dad unexpectedly died, leaving me rudderless. As I continued to flounder, I squandered several thousand dollars of inheritance and ended up homeless. Out of the rut to the top. I was eventually able to turn my life around and from a medical records business that I started with a single copy machine on my kitchen table, created a multi-million dollar top-rated company called Medicopy. Let me share my secret to rising from life's lowest point to the pinnacle of personal and professional success. To begin, it's important to understand that every plan begins with the expression of a thought. Once we take the time to stop, to focus, and to determine our most desired dreams for our life, those dreams not only begin to take shape, but they start to manifest. By pausing to think through the direction we hope for our lives to take, actions naturally and miraculously follow our intention. A vision what? A tangible, meaningful tool to focus on the future we hope to achieve is a vision board. In fact, I've become such a believer in creating a vision board to define dreams and by doing so discover a way to pursue them that I encourage the entire 200-plus member staff at Medicopy to make their own boards each year. I even give them paid time off to accomplish the exercise. Many who were initially reluctant to take part soon found value in making a vision board as they witnessed the positive power that defining their vision generated. I know that getting people who have never dreamed much to start dreaming can often be a hard sell. Many are too preoccupied with paying mortgages, school loans, and other expenses to look beyond the month let alone make plans for the year. If they aren't ready to make grandiose plans or imagine long-term goals, their vision boards can include such small steps as saving $5 a week or taking a short walk every morning. The empowerment they find by accomplishing what they envisioned will build over time. Nine Elements to Creating a Vision Board To create your own vision board, include these nine elements. First, recapture the memory of your childhood dream job. What profession did you once fantasize about, before the practicalities of pursuing a career path kicked in? Write, draw, or paste on pictures of that profession. Do you have any residual desires to explore that occupation? Second, recall the moment when you first received kudos. Do you remember a time early on when someone brought an ingrained talent that you possessed to your attention? Portray that meaningful moment on your vision board. Do you have occasion to express your talent currently? Third, celebrate what makes you different. What makes you different from the norm? How do you express or hide that difference? Present how you honor 
or hope to honor that difference on your vision board. 4. State the main principle you live by. What motto or expression represents your core value or the quality you most wish to uphold? Write or cut out the motto and place it on your board. 5. Portray your ideal family. If you're lucky, your biological family members constitute your dream family. But for many, we form our family from those we feel comfortable with and able to confide in. List those people who form your close inner circle. 6. Define your ambitions. Because thoughts have the ability to manifest themselves, take the time to dream big about your goals, both personal and professional. Seeing the images that represent your ambitions displayed on your board regularly will help them become reality. 7. Depict your version of success. Portray both the professional status and the personal satisfaction you will experience when you realize your dreams. What rewards will come with success? 8. Identify your self-care practices. What do you do to nourish your soul or to recharge your battery? Acknowledging that you need to take time for yourself in order to give 100% to your work and to others will remind you to protect that important time for self-care. 9. Compose your accountability chart. To be the version of your best self involves taking responsibility for your actions. Ensuring your own accountability to others begets their accountability to you. List the people to whom you are accountable on your board and those you consider accountable to you. Share your vision board. The final activity in the vision board exercise is to share your board with those in your inner circle, perhaps some of the people you identified in step number five. Ideally, everyone else has also created their own board, and together you can discuss what you learned from the experience and how you expect to put action behind your vision. Congratulations! If you've spent the time to create your vision board, you've taken an important step toward your own version of success. This article was written by Elliot Noble Holt, author of the book Bald Bearded Boss, Manifesting Who You're Meant to Be. The article was narrated by Marie T. Russell, publisher of InnerSelf.com. We hope that you have enjoyed this article. For over 30 years, we at Inner Self have sought to encourage new attitudes and new possibilities. For more inspiration, visit us at InnerSelf.com. Thank you.